Hi everyone, it's Vernon with The Real Life Group at Keller Williams Southwest, right outside of the greater Houston area. So I'm coming to you guys because, I mean, people are just coming from all over the place and I'm a bit overwhelmed. COVID has forever changed and opened up everybody's world to a realm of possibilities that's <laughs> magnificent. So if you're considering relocating, where should you go? So today we're going to talk about the top 10 places, top 10 states that people are fleeing to. So let's start off with number 10. It's the great state of Idaho, with it being right off of the coast. It's close enough to the water without the real estate woes of high taxes, high homes, and it has great job possibilities. So if you're considering a state with low taxes and great job opportunities, and you want to be kind of close to the water, then Idaho is what you choose. And so number nine is Delaware. It's right out of the financial capital. And so people who have money, they want to be around it, but they don't want to have to pay the prices for their homes. So the taxes are low. So number nine, Delaware. Keeping on those financial woes, people right outside of Maine are fleeing to Maine as our number eight state because they don't want to spend that much money. I'm noticing a pattern. A lot of money, more house, less taxes, go to Maine. Now this one I think is becoming a fan favorite. With about 3,100 people moving into this state, Nevada comes in at number seven. And why? Because it's a great place to retire. So if you're looking for a retirement destination, head on over to Nevada, number seven. Okay, though we're not at number 10 anymore, there is another 10 that I see. That's number six, Tennessee. Now, Tennessee is becoming very popular because it's a high tourism state, right? So 4,500 people were moving simply to Tennessee because it feels like a vacation spot, and yet it's a place you can call home. Number six, Tennessee. After being cooped up for almost a full year, people were ready to get outdoors. So it's no wonder they flew to the great state of Georgia as number five. They have a lot of outdoor activities, a booming job market, and low taxes and low cost of living. So if you want to spend some time out there in that sunshine state of Georgia, go right there. I hear things are peachy. Sticking with the weather. I find more and more people are going to our number four state, which is North Carolina, for many of the same reasons as Georgia. It's perfect weather, job opportunity is great, and you can do a lot outdoors. So if you're looking for a little bit more adventure, you can go down to the great state of North Carolina. So for the same reason people are flocking to North Carolina, they just kept rolling south and went into South Carolina, which saw 10,000 more families in the last year, right? And they're coming in as our number three state. Now, instead of staying outdoors all day long, South Carolina is being known for the remote work that's going on there. So they're buying a home, keeping their taxes low, spend some time outside, but they're working from home. So if that's what's up your alley, head on down to South Carolina. Okay, we have brought it down now to number two. And number two has been a fan favorite for at least retirees, but now it is attracting more and more youthful people who are looking for options. They appreciate the sunshine of that state, they appreciate the beaches in that state, and they appreciate just all the activities that they can do outdoors. So coming in with number two, or as number two, is Florida. So if you're looking for more beach life, more outdoor living, lower taxes, a place to retire, maybe you can bring your parents with you and head on down to Florida. All right, you guys, coming in your number one spot, I'm proud to say, right, due to its robust economy, um, the job market and opportunities, the low taxes, the no state income taxes, uh, the weather, of course, the number one state that people are flooding and fleeing to is none other than boo, Texas, y'all. Hey, hey, let's go, Texas. Absolutely. We are gaining, and according to the U United States Postal Service, we are gaining a small city every single year as our net gain of residence. So the streets are getting crowded, y'all. <laughs> I did say y'all because I'm in Texas. 
okay? So if you're looking to come down here to Texas, look, I got pros in different area codes. So I can get you hooked up with a realtor who will help you out. If you're coming to the greater Houston area, look your girl up because this is Verna with the Real Life Group at Keller Williams Southwest. And I have some more treats for you on what to look out for when you're moving to Texas, especially when it comes to the financial part of it.